Hi guys, welcome back to Codemaster Coach, your medical coding tutor. Today we are talking about anemia. Guys, when I first heard of anemia or people would tell me that they were anemic, I used to think, okay, so you got low iron in your blood, you're probably cold, you keep a blanket, you need to take vitamins to restore your iron levels. I thought that was anemia. But guys, anemia occurs when the equilibrium between your red blood cell loss and your red blood cell production is disturbed. So either you're making too much or you're not making enough red blood cells. And a decrease in the production can result in a variety of causes, including age, bleeding, and cell destruction. So anemias can be caused by several things. Deficiency anemia, a type of, of anemia, there's one called iron deficiency anemia, and it's classified to category D50 in your code books. This type of anemia may be due to a chronic blood loss, which is D50.0, from conditions such as chronic hemorrhagic gastrointestinal conditions, um, menorrhagia, when women have their cycles and they bleed, sometimes you bleed too much. Sometimes women, they start a cycle and what should have been a three to five day cycle turns out to be a three month cycle. I even had one student tell me she had a 10 year cycle. So menorrhagia or to an inadequate um, intake of your dietary iron, which is category D50.8. Now if the cause is unspecified, then code D50.9 is assigned. Iron deficiency anemia, specified as a secondary cause for acute blood loss, is assigned to code D62, acute post-hemorrhagic anemia, rather than the category D50. Other deficiency anemias are coded according to the type of deficiency, such as vitamin B12, which is category D51, or folate, which is category D52, or other nutritional deficiencies, um, which are category D53, with a fourth character indicating the specific type of deficiency, such, um, such as the folate deficiency anemia or the B12 vitamin deficiency. In addition, code D52.1, drug-induced folate deficiency anemia, requires that a code from category T36 through T50 be coded with the fifth or sixth character of five to identify the type of drug that's involved. Okay? Now, anemia is due to acute blood loss. So, acute blood loss anemias result from a sudden significant loss of blood over a brief period of time. Sudden significant loss of blood over a brief period of time. It may, be, it may occur due to trauma such as a laceration or a rupture of the spleen or other injuries of the abdominal viscera where no external blood loss is noted. Now diagnoses of an acute blood loss anemia should be supported by documentation evidenced in the condition such as um, significant lowering of your hemoglobin and hematocrine. So you know how to look on those lab values on the in the medical record on the lab, the blood work that's drawn. Watch your hemoglobin and hematocrit. And what I love about those lab sheets, a lot of times they'll tell you what the normal range is and you can see where if it's decreased, something's going on. Now acute blood loss anemia may occur following surgery, but it is not necessarily a complication of the procedure and should not be coded as a post-op complication unless your physician identifies it as such because there are some surgeries where you're expected to lose a lot of blood. Hip replacement is a prime example. They know ahead of time that the patient's going to lose a lot of blood and therefore they go ahead and order the um, additional blood supply to have on hand. So unless your physician says that it's um, blood loss or a complication a post-op complication of surgery, you don't code acute blood loss anemia as a post-op complication unless your physician identifies it as such. Now when the post-operative anemia is documented 
without specification of acute blood loss, then code D64.9, anemia unspecified, is your default code. Now code D62, acute post-hemorrhagic anemia, should be assigned when post-operative anemia is due to acute blood loss. And when neither the diagnostic statement nor the review of the medical record indicates whether a blood loss anemia is acute or chronic, code D50.0, iron deficiency anemia secondary to blood loss, chronic, should be assigned. Now what about anemia in chronic disease? Patients with chronic illnesses are often seen with anemia, which may be the cause of healthcare admission or encounter. So treatment is often directed at the anemia not the underlying condition. So for example, if you have a, um, anemia in chronic kidney disease, you'd code first the underlying chronic kidney disease with the code from category N18.0 to indicate the stage of the chronic kidney, kidney disease and you use an additional code, code D63.1. Now if it's anemia in a neoplastic disease, then you code first the neoplasm, which would be in a C code, um, that's responsible for the anemia, and then code D63.0. Now the D63.0 for the anemia is due to or with the malignancy, and is not due to the anti-neoplastic chemotherapeutic drug, which is the adverse effect. Now the anemia of the other chronic disease You'd code first the underlying chronic disease, followed by code D63.8 to identify the type of anemia. Okay. Now, if anemia is due to chemotherapy, anti-neoplastic chemotherapy-induced anemia is classified to code D6481, anemia due to anti-neoplastic chemotherapy. This type of anemia is rarely a hemolytic process and is not truly an aplastic process. So when the admission or the encounter is for management of an anemia associated with an adverse effect of chemotherapy and the only treatment is for the anemia, the anemia code should be sequenced first, followed by the appropriate code for the adverse effect and the neoplasm. Anemia due to chemotherapy should not be uh, confused with aplastic anemia due to anti-neoplastic chemotherapy, which is coded to code D61.1, which is drug-induced aplastic anemia. Anemia due to a drug where the drug is not specified is coded to the type of anemia or to code D64.9 if the type of anemia is not specified. Okay, And then you have aplastic anemia. Aplastic anemia. Now, aplastic anemia, which can be found at category D60 and D61, is caused by a failure of the bone marrow to produce red blood cells. The condition may be congenital, patient may be born with it, but it is usually idiopathic or acquired. In other words, patient just goes in and for some reason they have this aplastic, they don't know what caused it, is idiopathic. And then acquired means they just somehow picked it up. It may be due to an underlying disease, such as a malignant neoplasm or an infection. It also may be caused by exposure to ionizing radiation, chemicals, or drugs, and it often results from treatment for malignancy. Aplastic anemia due to drugs is coded to D61.1, drug-induced aplastic anemia. Now, aplastic anemia due to infection radiation and other external agents or that is toxic is coded to D61.2. Idioplastic aplastic anemia, and we said idiopathic means they don't really know the cause, what caused it, but the patient does have aplastic anemia. It's coded to D61.3 and when the type of, of anemia is not specified but appears to be related to a diagnosis of malignancy or treatment for a malignancy, the physician should be queried to determine whether the code for aplastic anemia may be appropriate. 
pancytopenia, which is code D61.81, is a type of aplastic anemia that represents a deficiency of all three elements of the blood. So when a patient has anemia, which is a deficiency of red blood cells, neutropenia, which is a deficiency of white blood cells, and thrombocytopenia, which is a deficiency of the platelets, you see your blood components, only the code for the pancytopenia, D61.81, should be assigned. Now when the pancytopenia is drug-induced, ICD-10-CM distinguishes whether it is due to antineoplastic chemotherapy, D61.810, or another type of drug, D61.811. Code D61.09, other constitutional aplastic anemia, is assigned if the pancytopenia is congenital, person was born with it, rather than due to a chronic condition. Okay guys, stay tuned for part two, which will include sickle cell anemia, coagulation defects, diseases of the platelet cells, white blood cell diseases, and disorders of your immune system. All right, guys, that's it. I will see you in the next one. Go back and look at these codes in your code book and follow along with this video so it'll start to make sense. But again, this was anemia. Thanks.